Hello, my name is Kevin Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO here at the One Blue Real Estate School. Thank you so much for tuning in for episode one of our new series, From the Classroom, where we take nuggets from the classroom, shrink them down, and bring them to you to help you study for the state exam, or maybe even help you to evaluate our school and whether we're a good fit for you on how we teach. So for our first episode, I thought we'd bring a great topic, and it's hashtag WT... What? Ah, that's, what's the frack? The Florida Real Estate Commission. Did you think I was going to say something else? Anyway, let's talk about the Florida Real Estate Commission for a second. It is a regulatory body. So the Florida legislature charged frack to regulate real estate to go out and protect the public. Their whole job is consumer protection. Protect from who? Well, from folks like us, from real estate professionals, both sales associates, broker associates, brokers, real estate instructors, schools, and brokerages as well. The Florida Real Estate Commission fosters education for licensees and permit holders to ensure that all of us have a minimal degree of competence to practice real estate. Now, who makes up the FREC? What the FREC are they? Well, easy. They are individuals that are appointed by the governor of the state of Florida, and they are confirmed by the state senate. In total, there are seven individuals that make up the Florida Real Estate Commission. The first four of them are brokers who have been licensed for at least five years or more. We have an additional person on the commission that is a license holder, but only has to be licensed for at least two years. Then we have two additional members of the commission that are consumer members. These are folks that have never held a professional license during their lifetimes here in Florida. Now, of our seven members that we have here on the commission, at least one of them, just one, has to be at least 60 years of age or older. I like to joke, that's our, our uh, Master Yoda, right? That's our wisdom and expertise and experience on the commission to help, help keep everyone together. So that's that composition of the Florida Real Estate Commission. So now let's talk about their term and their compensation because wait till you see how much they get paid. You'll be applying, I guarantee it. So they serve four-year staggered terms, and they can't serve any more than two consecutive terms. So what this means is there's no limit to the number of terms in their lifetime. They just can't serve more than two at a time. So two terms, skip a term, two terms, skip a term, and they can continue on. And they are appointed by the governor, and they are only accountable to the governor, not to the Department of Business and Professional Regulation, or even to the general public because they are exempt from civil liability when acting in their official capacity. Now, I promise you, you'd want to apply. Look at that compensation. They are paid a grand total, a whopping $50 per day when conducting official FREC business. Ready to sign up, aren't you? Hmm? Oh, but we do reimburse for out-of-pocket expenses, including mileage, meals, and hotel charges. These individuals do a great public service to the consumers and to us license holders here in the state of Florida. They make sure all the bad apples stay out and the good apples stay in so that real estate in Florida is a profitable business, where one where we're all making money, the consumer is taken care of, and everybody is helping everyone. So we appreciate all the hard work of the Florida Real Estate Commission. Now, where do they hold their meetings at? Well, right here in Orlando, Florida, at the division offices over on West Robinson in downtown Orlando. In order for them to be able to conduct official business, they have to have at least four members of the commission to meet a quorum. And during one meeting a year, they're going to vote amongst themselves to pick a chairperson and a vice chairperson. Also, the legal counsel that's provided through the Office of the State Attorney General and the Department of Legal Affairs. They take care of giving the commission all the legal advice that they need. So what are their powers and duties? If you're familiar with high school civics and things we learned about our U.S. government, we have three branches of government. We have the executive, the judicial, and the legislative. Well, those are kind of what FREC has. Well, we have quasi-legislative powers, quasi-judicial, and executive. So what do each of these three mean? Well, under quasi-legislative, they can create and pass administrative rules and bylaws. They can regulate professional practices. Under our quasi-judicial, grant and deny license applications, suspend and revoke licenses and issue administrative fines, make determinations of violations. And lastly, under their executive powers, they can regulate and enforce license law, foster education, 
They can adopt a seal, which means that they are making something officially part of the record. And of course, establish fees that you and I get to pay when we're renewing our licenses or applying for our licenses as you may be doing right now. So my friends, that is a big picture overview of What's the Frack? The Florida Real Estate Commission. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out new episodes being released each and every week. Up next, we're gonna talk about the license renewal periods. But in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about our school, visit our website, onebluerealestateschool.com or give us a call, 321-333-5222. We look forward to speaking with you and hope we have the opportunity to welcome you to One Blue Real Estate School in the near future. Have a great day.